Welcome back everyone in this afternoon's Women of Vision series. The name Sylvia Sprinkle Hamlin is synonymous with legacy in the triad. Sure is and she is a big part of why Winston-Salem has become a destination location for the performing arts. Yet her ability to attract celebrities from across the globe like Sydney Poitier, Oprah Winfrey, Cicely Tyson and so many more only skims the surface of her community impact to change lives. Talitha Vickers introduces us to this year's Legacy Award winner presented by the Gateway YWCA. I love this. Oh yes, this, this to yes. me is just that was 2017 so gala, and these are all of the celebrities that was at the gala. Oh. That she he reads, that she she sews. If you could measure the wingspan of Sylvia Sprinkle Hamlin's network, it would stretch around the globe. This is an international celebration and reunion of spirit. Since 1989, the National Black Theater Festival has brought Tony Award winning plays and musicals to Winston-Salem, founded by the late great Marvtastic Larry Leon Hamlin. He was very creative and he just felt he could do anything and he would talk to anybody <laughs> and everybody and uh, once he passed I felt that he had worked so hard to make it a success so I felt it was my responsibility to take on the reins of the festival. And that she did, saddling up Hollywood celebs along for the ride in her role as the festival's executive producer. So you can see some of our celebrities, Diana Curl. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Malcolm Jamal Warner. Mm. There's Denzel. Oh, <laughs> Billy D. Debbie Allen. Wow. Vanessa Bell Calloway, Glenn Turman. Um, uh, Leslie Uggams. The walls of photos and programs from past festivals inside these halls only portray a glimpse of her legacy of hard work, dedication, and leadership behind the scenes that's become a growing magnetic draw to the triad over the years. I'm really excited about the volunteers. You know we have over a thousand volunteers, and a lot of these volunteers are people who just keep coming back, keep coming back. Some of them take weeks, take their weeks vacation just to volunteer for the festival. And I think that's just awesome. But before Sprinkle Hamlin put her hometown of Winston-Salem in the national spotlight, she immersed herself in community service and began her career first as a children's librarian up north. When I started my career in Philadelphia, I worked at this branch called, uh, it's called Rojikris Library now, but it was Gerard Avenue Branch Library. And I, they did an article on me because they call it the Nun Hush Library. Oh, yes, like yes. So my philosophy is let people communicate and, and converse. She came back home with a steadfast mission, often on the front lines dedicated to literacy. Her groundbreaking achievements as the first woman and the first African American to ever be named library director in the history of Forsyth County Public Library Systems spurred the question of how she's been able to successfully make her two worlds of bold and vibrant theater collide with the quiet and composed library. She quickly brought me up to speed. Well, first of all, the library is not quiet anymore. <gasps> okay. 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 Right away. All right. Tell me. And the libraries into the 21st century. The librarians are, libraries and librarians are change agents because we've gone from the card catalog to the web. We, we see people from all walks of life. We open and free and we don't, we don't discriminate, we want everybody to come. And our emphasis, we see our future in the children's programming and technology. So working in the library and working with people is the same as working in the theater, working with people. So it's just working with people, networking, and respecting everyone. Two, three. Yeah. It's that very mentality that has led to numerous achievements, including creating the first bookmobile service for Spanish-speaking residents, the launch of an award-winning computer coaching program, and the implementation of technology workstations for the hearing and visually impaired. Plus, overseeing the $28 million renovation of the Central Library in downtown Winston-Salem. The list is extensive, and although retired, she's not done yet. 
Well, Winston-Salem is my hometown. I grew up in Tobaccoville, North Carolina, which is like, what, 20 or 30 minutes from Winston-Salem, if that long. I spent my childhood in Old Town, uh, off of Shetland Drive, Yak Old Yakinville Road. And you know, Winston-Salem, went to Winston-Salem State University. So I came back home, and I want everything wonderful to happen where I am. And that was Talitha Vickers reporting. The 41st Annual Women of Vision Awards is this Thursday. There will be a networking opportunity at 1130 in the morning. The awards presentation is from noon to one. And we have more information about how you can join the celebration and also make a donation in honor of the recipients to help community programs from the WCA on our website. That's WXII12.com.